Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Today's lesson is reviewing clothing, items of clothing. So let's check out some words, some vocabulary that is related to clothing, accessories, and so forth. I have a list of words to share with you today. And it looks like my list is about 35 words. So this should only take about 15 minutes. So I'm pronouncing the words and show you some photos so that you can match the vocabulary with the image of the item. So let's get started. The first word is belt. First word is belt. So these are some belts. We wear a belt around our waist to hold up our pants. Belt. Number two. The word is blouse. A blouse is a shirt for ladies. Blouse. Let's look at some of these blouses. There's a green blouse. There is a pink blouse. A red blouse, dark red blouse, and another green blouse. Very nice. Thank you, ladies, <laughs> for sharing your blouses. Number three. Boots. Lots of different types of boots. Anybody can wear boots. Men, women, kids, boys and girls. Lots of different styles, colors, materials. Um, I love to wear boots in the winter time when it's cold outside. Um, they're very, some of these are very stylish and fashionable. So I love a good pair of boots. Number four, cap. Cap is something that you wear on your head. Here's a black cap. That's a pink cap. Another black cap. Light blue cap, and these are all baseball style, so we might say baseball cap. A white Adidas baseball cap. A red and white cap. Cap is for your head. I'm sure you've had a cap. Number five. Cardigan. Cardigan. Cardigan is like a sweater. It's like a sweater. It usually has buttons down the front. It always has buttons down the front. So it's like a sweater with buttons instead of just the pullover style. So cardigans are very uh, convenient to have. You can take one with you if you think it might be cold, but not going to be sure if it's cold or not. I always throw a cardigan in my backpack in case it gets chilly at night cardigan. Number six is coat. So when it gets really cold, we get a coat. Coat. These are all heavy material. They keep you warm. Always has long sleeves. Sometimes they're very stylish or fashionable. I had a coat like this, I think, a long time ago in high school. Here's a nice red coat. Next word, number seven, dress. A dress is what a lady wears when she wants to look extra pretty. Beautiful dresses here. And let's see, number eight. Number eight is gloves. Gloves. You wear gloves on your hands to keep your hands warm. Uh, you can also wear gloves to protect your hands. If you see gloves like this, these gloves are for cleaning. You protect your hands from chemicals. Um, but other gloves 
are just uh, for the winter time. Uh, these gloves are for sports. And it looks like these gloves are just to keep your hands warm. Maybe in the snow or when it's very cold outside. We wear wool gloves. Number nine. Hat. Number nine is hat. Hats for men, hats for women, hats for sports, hats to protect you from the sun while you're hiking. I wear a hat like this sometimes when I'm hiking. Keep the sun uh, off of my face to protect my skin. Number 10, jacket. Jacket is similar to a coat, but usually a jacket is not as heavy. So this is a denim jacket or a jeans jacket. So jackets are sometimes are usually lighter than a coat. So if it's really cold, you wear a coat. If it's just cool outside, you might just wear something lighter, which would be a jacket. Some of these actually look like coats though. So um, jacket and coat, sometimes people use those words the same way. It's just something that you wear over your, over your shirt to keep yourself warm. Number 11. 11 is jeans. Jeans are usually blue and they're made of denim material. Lots of different styles of jeans. The jeans have never gone out of style. Jeans, or sometimes we say blue jeans, or we say denim jeans. This word is jumper. It's on my list, but it's basically just a sweater. Something that you pull over your head that has long sleeves and it's warm. So I would call this a jumper. I would call this a sweater, but sometimes we call that a jumper also. I would call this a sweatshirt, but again, something that you pull over to stay warm that has long sleeves can be referred to as a jumper. Number 13, mini skirt. Mini means small, and skirt is what something someone wears around their waist um, not like shorts, different than shorts, but this is called a skirt, mini skirt. I'd like to say thank you to our beautiful models today on Google. Number 14 is overalls. Overalls are like jeans, except it's a different style. They come up and they, they have straps that go over your shoulders. So these are overalls, overalls. Number 15 is overcoat, overcoat, usually more formal. You wear your overcoat usually over a suit maybe or some formal wear. So he's got a shirt and tie and an overcoat. Overcoats are usually more stylish, more formal, um, dressier. Very nice look though, for sure. Let's see. Number 16, one of my favorites. One of my favorites, pajamas, I love my pajamas. Pajamas are uh, clothes that you wear for sleeping. So there's lots of types of pajamas. Um, you're not supposed to wear pajamas outside. Some people do, <laughs> but so pajamas are meant for inside the house and usually uh, for bedtime, you sleep in your pajamas. Number 17 is pants. Pants are long, um, a long piece of clothing that cover your legs. So anything that's long, 
that cover your legs called pants. Let's look at number 18. 18 is raincoat. Just like the, the name implies, it's a coat for the rain to keep you dry. So the only time you really should be wearing a raincoat is when it's raining. Number 19 is scarf. You wear a scarf around your neck to keep your body warm when it's cold outside. So this woman is wearing a big, heavy scarf. Scarf, usually made of wool. Number 20 is shirt. Shirt. So many different types of shirts. But a shirt is where you wear what you wear on the top half of your body. On your upper body, you wear a shirt. Shirt is number 20. Number 21 is shoes. <laughs> Not hoes, shoes. Shoes. Shoes you wear on your feet. These are sports shoes. These are casual shoes. These are running shoes. These are also casual shoes, running shoes, sneakers. Sometimes we call these sneakers. That's a different type of shoe. Or it's the another term that we use for sports shoes. We say sneakers. And number 22. 22 is shorts. Shorts are pants that don't cover your knee. They are for warmer weather so you can stay cool. Shorts, otherwise known as short pants. Shorts. Number 23 is skirt. Now remember we discussed mini skirt before. This is a longer version of the mini skirt. This is just called a skirt. Number 24. 24 is slacks. Slacks are also pants, but when we say slacks, we mean something that's a little nicer, more formal, dressier, more business attire. Slacks. Usually if you wear a suit or a shirt and tie, you wear that, you wear those with a pair of slacks. Number 25. Number 25 is slippers. Slippers. Slippers are very comfortable. Wear these around the house. Keep your feet warm. Um, yeah, I love slippers because they're cozy and comfortable. And I enjoy uh, the feeling that they have on my feet. Keeps me nice and warm. Slippers. Number 26. Socks. Socks also go on your feet. Those are socks. And we say a pair of socks. We say a um, pair. So let me write pair of socks. So a pair means two. So that's a pair of socks. Pair of socks. Pair of socks. Number 27. suit. It's a very nice look. A suit is very formal uh, or for business. Most business men, businessmen wear a suit to work. A suit. Number 28 is sweatshirt. You can see sweatshirt is kind of like a sweater or a jumper. 
but it's more casual and it looks very comfortable. These are sweatshirts. Sweatshirts. You see the one? These have a hood that covers your head. That would be a hooded sweatshirt. A hooded sweatshirt. And this is just a crew neck sweatshirt. Number number 29. Not number 29 that way. Number 29 is sweater. Number 29 is sweater. So you can see we've looked at jumpers. We looked at uh, sweatshirts. And this is uh, more like a sweater. Keeps you warm. And the material is usually nicer than a sweatshirt. Sweater. I'm going to skip number 30 because that's the same thing as number 28. I just noticed. So let's skip that. Let's go to number 31. Number 31 is t-shirt. We all know what a t-shirt is, I hope. But this is this is a t-shirt. Different colors. Some are nicer, some are cheap. They're lightweight. Sometimes you wear a t-shirt under your shirt. Sometimes you wear a t-shirt just as your regular shirt, t-shirt. Number 32 is tie. Tie looks very nice. Tie is formal. Sometimes we say necktie because it wraps or it ties around your neck. It's a necktie. Here's one. This is actually called a bow tie. A bow tie. So that's a bow tie and this is a necktie. 33. Trousers, just another word for pants. Trousers can be formal or they can be informal. They call these trousers, but they also call these trousers. Trousers are basically pants. And number 34. Undershirt. So a shirt that goes under your regular shirt is called an undershirt. And we also often call this a t-shirt as well. So these are undershirts. Okay, so that's our list. There's 34 items of clothing that are all very common. If you have any questions, uh, please write them in the comments section below. I would be happy to answer any questions that you have about clothing. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.